Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 481. Today, we're doing another fight scene analysis. Josh Blum is back, and today we're talking about the fight between Jackie Chan and Benny the Jet Urquidez in the classic film Dragons Forever. I'm Jeremy Lesniak. I'm your host for the show. I'm the founder here at Whistlekick, and I love the martial arts. I love all things about the martial arts, including, as you might have guessed, martial arts movies. And if you want to see everything that I love, well, you can go to whistlekick.com. You can see everything that we're doing here. But if you want to see what we're doing for this show, that's a separate website. Whistlekickmartialartsradio.com is the place to go. And that's where you'll find every single episode we've ever done. All for free. No paywalls, nothing like that. And we also drop in links and photos and video and a, a bunch more. If you want to support what we're doing, you can make a purchase at whistlekick.com, use the code PODCAST15, or you can support our Patreon, patreon.com slash whistlekick. And if you contribute $5 or more per month, we're going to give you even more stuff, more content, because that's what we do. We make stuff. We make uniforms. We make sparring gear. We make podcasts. We make videos. We make blogs. We make books. We like to make things all about martial arts. Why? Well, the goal is to connect, educate, and entertain traditional martial artists to give you the stuff that you want and the stuff that you need for your martial arts lifestyle. Now, it was a few weeks ago, Josh Blum and I chatted and we talked about the fight scene in Wheels on Meals. And yes, that still hits my tongue weird, but it was great. We had a lot of fun. We slowed down the video on YouTube and we were able to pick it apart, talk about the fun stuff and the, the good technique. And we thought we would do it again. So that's what we're doing. Now, you can certainly listen to us. But to get the full experience, you're going to want to do this at a time when you can watch as well. And we've got the link for the YouTube video at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Again, this is episode 481. Check that out and see what you think. Now, we're wondering, do you want us to keep doing these? Josh and I are happy to keep doing them. But we want to know. We want you to let us know. Should we keep doing these, or should we move on to finding another way to collaborate? Let me know, jeremy at whistlekick.com. Instead of gabbing at you more, I'll step out of the way, and here is our conversation and our analysis of that great fight scene. Hey, everybody. Welcome. You've already listened to some manner of intro from Josh or I. We're back, and we're talking about another movie. We're going to go through and review another movie fight scene we did this a month ago with uh meals on wheels right i want to say we wheels on meals you know i've heard it both ways so you know whatever meals on wheels is 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 the program that delivers food to uh uh seniors in their homes uh we (laughs) wheels on meals is somehow jackie chan and uh benny the jet fighting and we're back again for another Benny and Jackie fight scene. Is this a sequel? Yeah, okay. I, I believe so. And I actually saw this one first, so I always get them confused chronologically when, when they're when they're um, when they're coming out. But uh, Jackie has shorter hair here, and uh, he is wearing a suit. Actually, they're both wearing kind of like formal clothes. And Benny has a ponytail, and I'm pretty sure mascara. Yeah, <laughs> I it's, looked it's, closely it's, and paused it's, it. It's a little weird. When you see the close up, yeah. yeah, um, crazy, but of course, you know we're we're not we're not picking apart the costumes or the makeup or the titles. We're we're here to talk about the fight scene because that's the best part of any of these movies. It was, it was a different time, you know, Depeche Mode yes. and all these things. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you could almost expect Prince to pop out and just yeah. you know do it up. Uh, but if you haven't checked out what we recorded last time i mean you you don't have to it's not anything that's going to build on that so much but you might not be familiar with the format so here's what's going to happen if you go to the show notes for either of our shows because we do different shows i do martial arts radio and josh you do the 13th hour that's the full title 13th hour podcast okay and so in our respective show notes we've got a link to this video that we're going to go over we're going to set it at half speed there's a little gear icon down on the bottom of all YouTube videos. You can slow it down. We're going to watch it at half speed and we're going to talk about it. We're going to pick it apart. We're going to critique it. And we suggest that you follow along with us 
You don't have to, but it's going to make a heck of a lot more sense if you do. So without further ado, I've got my cursor over the play button. And I'm going to hit, oh, I got to rewind it. There we go. And I'm going to hit play in three, two, one. The guy all the, the way. The guy smoking the, left. the cigar. I, I couldn't figure this yeah. guy out. He's been in a ton of things, and he always wears those big, huge glasses like that. Kind of crazy because he he pops in and out periodically. Yeah. There's Benny taking off his clothes. Well, actually, they both take off their well, jackets. If, there's the eyeshadow. He definitely has got some mascara going on. He's very right. androgynous. Now, I'm not going to bring yeah. that up next time I see him. Yeah. <laughs> pretty sure I get punched in the mouth. But he looks there you go. he looks pretty jacked here. Yeah. It'd, it'd be interesting to kind of overlay his fight career and where he was at with when he filmed this. I'm gonna have to look up. Uh, maybe after after we uh, the clips uh, stops rolling, we'll we'll check out what year it was. The requisite loosening of the tie. No, well, you don't want to get no, strangled, right? I mean, that would... he leads off with a back kick. Interestingly, tell us the movie. But you've got that guy smoking the cigar. He throws one kick, and then he yeah. goes and he hides behind a pillar and smokes his cigar <laughs> and does this very like oh. Rodney Dangerfield. Kind of pop it around, looking at what's going on. That I, right. I've watched this a few times, and I still don't understand right. why. Right. But what I like about this, I, what I like about the the style that they've got going on is that they are doing things very differently. You know, obviously Jackie's much more circular in his motions, but they're making it work, and it it comes together really well. And I thought better than the last one that we did. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more evenly. Um, I don't know the the the. I guess I don't know what I say. Re repartee is a little bit more even. I think um, there's a lot more blocking and striking that misses and it makes the fight more interesting. And that we just saw that fake from Benny. That was something I noticed throughout the fight scene is that he does that quite a few times. Yeah, and that great roll to get out of there. Jackie's taking a little bit of a beating in this one. This is a reverse of the other one where um, it was a little bit more even, I thought. Oh, which he does a nice uh, that, that kip up there. Yeah. And then yeah. smash. And some of the, the shots that they take, I, I've, I've got to say, <laughs> and, and there's our friend with a cigar <laughs> out of nowhere for yeah. seemingly no reason. This, this sort of does a random kick just in the midair, in midair, like uh, David Lee Roth. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great comparison. And then I'm going to go jump over the, this, the railing on the stairs, hang out, show you that I still got the cigar in my yeah. mouth. Yeah. I like that kick sequence from Jackie. Nice Pretty good flurry. Uh, two hit. Any and that was a beautiful, beautiful spinning back sidekick, whatever you, you choose to call it. But let's yeah. talk about how obviously empty those boxes are. <laughs> right. And Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, what is that? It's it, falling out. Of, I thought it was uh, foam, uh, some kind of packing foam. But uh, I'm also wondering uh, now, is it drugs? Because we do see a scale later on. Are those bricks of heroin? I think it, I think it was cocaine, yeah. I think because I think Benny plays a drug lord and the, there's a scene other uh, before this where he like cuts open one of these in a very, very creepy scene, licks the knife, you know, to taste the cocaine. It's, it's uh, maybe it's better. It's Probably is. <laughs> yeah, all Pulling right, shirt off. buttons, takes goes. the shirt off and sort of uses it as a weapon. Yeah. yeah. I actually thought that that's what they were going to do with the ties initially. I was hopeful. You know, when they both pull off their ties. Yeah, I thought they were going to use those as... And that part right there, I those. thought was the oddest part. Jackie jumps up, kicks him. He falls over, rolls. But what hurts is when he bumps the table standing up. Right, right. Kicks him with two feet, <laughs> no less. This is... And I think falls down in the yes. process. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite the commitment. Not a movement that I yeah. recommend when, to, to any of my students. Right. 
that's another thing we do here on the joint uh, 13th hour uh, whistle kick podcast but yet another service we offer don't some public service announcements if you kick keep one foot on the ground or at least know where the ground is and put your feet (laughs) that was funny i i enjoyed that piece not quite as much comedy as the the previous scene we did yeah yeah but I thought there was a lot more technique and skillful choreography. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. I wonder how many times it took for, for, uh, for that guy to get that right without um, getting his groin <laughs> stuck in the, in the bottom, right? It's just, it's so random. And I don't know if he's meant to provide a comedic element or... Maybe the fact that I haven't watched the movie, you know, puts me at a loss there yeah. for why he's involved. But I like this. I mean, that that's as traditional Jackie Chan as you get moving the gate back and forth and using it right. as a defensive weapon. There's definitely a lot more in, I think, in this one, um, use to the environment. Yes. Because uh, they, I don't know, they're in like some kind of like uh, facility. Um, so I guess there's like a lot more stuff to use. They were I don't know where they were before. It was almost like a castle, a chateau kind of thing. Um, but there's a, a lot more back and forth, I think, with this one. And there's some good... I mean, that, that choke there is applied really well. I mean, there's some good technique here. It's not just about the speed. I mean, you can see that the choreography was done by someone who actually has some skill in a variety of martial arts. Right. Oh, saving it on the way down, having his legs. Concrete floors don't feel good. It's another yeah. lesson, kids. Don't uh, don't get in a fight on a yeah. concrete floor. It hurts when you fall. Ouch. Shin block. I think they, I don't know. I, I want to say that they both take a little bit more of a beating in this one. There's Benny. Like you see all the sweat. I mean, I'm sure this that was. This is a great kick right here. Boom. They show it twice. Really well executed. You know, I would imagine that this is Jackie at the height of his physical skills. Right. <laughs> not to say that he's not a force still, but but watching right. that, the height that he has as he comes around. And then I thought this was really yeah. well done, kicking right. him into the glass case and then Hopefully not real glass. Hopefully they use like candy glass or something like that for that. But, but then we get the close up with the glass embedded in Betty's face. Right. This movie was particularly uh, had a lot of that, if I recall. Oh, he's like, oh god, I need to take a rest. No, I gotta, I gotta fight that other guy. Where'd he go? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. What did you, what did you think? This makes me want to watch the movie. Because I feel like if yeah. nothing else to find out, you know, who the Asian Pink Panther is and and what he's got <laughs> going on and why he's popping in and out. And just like, I'm going to kick you and then run away and do some right. parkour on the stairs. Doesn't make any sense. I love that random thing where you just sort of standing there holding his cigar and he just, just randomly like, you know, he doesn't even really move his upper body, just does a random kick, you know. In midair, like I don't know what the purpose of that was. <laughs> I, I, I've got, I've got it paused. It's back at the beginning. Um, possibly the greatest collection of shoulder pads that I've ever seen on three suits. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you, well, you, yeah, you've yeah. got random creepy yeah. guy who's got some pretty big shoulder pads. Benny's already a pretty buff dude, so he looks like he has some shoulder pads that are just completely unnecessary. <laughs> and then Jackie's neck goes straight out to the sides. Clearly we've got some shoulder pads going on there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I said, you know, let me look up dragons forever. When did this come out? Uh, Jackie Chan. Sorry. You can probably no, hear me good. typing there. Excuse me. While, while I look this up. Yeah. Dragons for, Oh, 1988. Okay. So that okay. makes sense. I mean, that was the yeah. height of shoulder pads. Made- yeah. So this is four years after um, the other one that we just did. 
uh, and that so that makes sense. The mascara, the the fashions, everything like that. That that to, and the drugs, right. you know, of course, that totally makes sense. Um, and uh, so actually, when did Benny stop? I think I believe he had his last fight. What in ninety three or something like that? Something like that. It was I, early ninety. I'm not sure, right? but that seems about right. Uh, I remember I have the issue of black belt oh, cool. somewhere. Yeah. And I have to I have to say, I Someone... think just based on watching these two fight scenes, I suspect that the two of them get along. I think that they enjoyed working together. Yeah. It just something about that comes through for me. Cause it it would have taken a long time to, to film that. Uh you've had a lot of fights. Yes. Um yeah, he was rather prolific in the ring. 1993, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tagami, that's right. I remember that. Um, but so 1988, actually, uh, yeah, he took some time off, I think, around. He had one more fight in 1989. Um, he was fighting a lot of the Japanese folks, and I think, I think he would go to Japan, oh. actually. Which could yeah, explain and, 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 why he was doing some of these movies that were destined for that market. No, maybe. Maybe he was already there or something like that. Or I, I would imagine culturally that. that having an American play a bad guy kind of fit with the cultural narrative at that time still. And if he was yeah, known probably. a bit from being yeah, in the ring, uh, then he's an obvious yeah. choice. I feel like he has a, uh, he has a little, he had, I don't know if he still does a little following in Japan. Uh, or maybe probably big following. He had like a comic book really? or everything like that. That I didn't know. Oh, I, yeah. I, mean, I want to see if I can find Google that. Comic book. Like Jack, or cool. Benny the Jet, Benny or Kita's comic. I mean, you can see like you know anime style drawings. Um, I have some old issue of Black Belt uh, from that time. You know, he talks about it. I, I'll see if I can. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll see if I can find that. There's an interview where he's talking to someone from Black Belt magazine. He's talking about I think. Uh, working with Jackie Chan. So I'll see if I oh, can that'd be find great for that. The show notes, yeah. Um, for the, yeah. Um, but I have to say, like, so the 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 dude with the uh, with the big glasses and the and the, the cigar, um, he actually is not bad, and, and not in this particular clip. If I remember right from the actual movie, and I haven't seen it in twenty years, he actually is. Uh, I don't know who he is, uh, but he uh, he gets in some kicks and uh, um, and, and and he doesn't, you know, he he's clearly an accomplished uh martial artist himself that it looks like yeah his kicks um, look great so the two of them i just saw yeah yeah so uh um i i do want to watch the movie again and so uh i you know the last time i saw it i remember so this 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 film has a lot of the same people that were in the other one that we talked about uh, from 1984 as Sammo hung and as like yen biao and um and of course you know the two main folks right. we just saw um so uh it's a good it's a good one. And I, I definitely remember there's some great acrobatics that Yen Biao does uh, on a, like a, I don't know what do, you, what do you want to call it? It's like an elevated platform where he, he'll do like a backflip land somehow um, without, you know, uh, uh, falling off the edge, uh, diving through plates of glass. Like there's a little, little um, opening for him to dive through. He somehow manages to dive through it. There's, there's some great stuff that, that they do mm. in this particular one. Nice. So. All right. Cool. Um, Maybe then. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Uh, so. Yeah, we'll have to, you know, talk about where we where we go from here. But I know there was some stuff you and I had talked about that maybe you can share with the audience about our our questions of them. Yeah, absolutely. I will say, if one thing, um, watching these films, I, I always find uh, quite motivating. Mm. I would, um, I would agree I, with that. Yeah, this well, definitely yeah. makes me want to go, you know, choreograph something in the other room. Yeah. Um, well, uh, so uh, this per this particular thing, um, if you enjoyed this uh, this this format, this episode, let us know. Um, comment, uh, leave, uh, send us an email, um, those kind of things like that, and let us know if there are future episodes. Uh, or other um, movies where they're a similar type of thing where you'd like us to delve into. Um, and uh, yeah. we will do that. Yeah. Give, give us some, give us some feedback. We need, we need feedback because we want to, we want to cater this to what people want. 
You know, I mean, you and I are having yeah. fun, but we want other people to have fun too. Sure. And I think the other thing is that, you know, let's face it, uh, 1988, I and mean, this is an old movie. There's a lot of people, there's a whole generation of folks that probably hasn't seen this movie um, or ones that from like this. So it's, it's uh, you know, uh, a lot of these folks who are in this film are no longer doing films or they're doing much different kinds of films. They can't keep up that kind of physicality anymore. Um, and movies are different now. Sure. Um, and so it's an interesting kind of time capsule uh, into what things were like and um, at the time and where martial arts was like uh, in, you know, the mid mid to late eighties. Yeah. So all interesting. All right. Well, that's, that's all, all I, I got. got. Yeah. Thanks as always for listening to to us and uh, we will catch you guys in the future. Well, that was fun. And I want to again thank Josh for coming on and working with me again. Have a really good time working with this guy. He's fun and he's got some great knowledge of martial arts film. Certainly makes me step my game up. Again, if you want us to keep doing this, let us know. Email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. If you want to check out other episodes, go to WhistlekickMartialArtsRadio.com. And if you want to check out the stuff that we're making, Whistlekick.com. Use the code PODCAST15. Save yourself 15%. And if you're so inclined, help us out with the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Whistlekick. It goes a long way to covering the expenses for all this stuff that we're doing. It's expensive to do this show. Of course, there are plenty of other ways you can help us out. You can share an episode, buy a book on Amazon, tell a friend. Or simply just follow us on social media, at Whistlekick. Give us a like, maybe a fun comment. Let us know you like what we're doing. That's all I've got for you today. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day. 